An offensive juggernaut, Ewing is regarded by many as the best shooting center of all time. One of basketball's most feared defenders, he's averaged near three blocks a game at his peak. Defeat the Shaq and Penny led Magic for the Eastern Conference supremacy. New York, they're working against the clock now. Here comes Derek Harper. Welcome everybody to New York City as we rewind the tape and look back at two of the best teams in the East in the mid-90s, the Orlando Magic. A young team, both in regard to the roster and the organization itself, and an expansion team back in 1989. They'll take on an established veteran team, but New York Knicks. And the Magic will have their work cut out for them tonight in their last nine games here in New York. They've only managed one win. And the Magic, not a very good road team at all, but their great home record has been the thing that's kept them so competitive. But the Knicks, you know, dealing with the size and athleticism of the Magic will be a challenge. That's right. With Penny Hardaway and Shaq, this team blessed with great size and athleticism. We'll see if the Knicks can override that with their veteran experience. And let's hit the floor here. For the Knicks, we've got Derek Harper and John Starks at the 1 and 2. Charles Smith and Charles Oakley providing plenty of muscle at the forwards. And the big man in the middle inside, Patrick Ewing. And on the court for the Magic, Shaquille O'Neal is at the center. Horace Grant alongside him at power forward. Penny Hardaway is the big 6-7 point guard. And the wings, Royal and Nick Anderson. And here now the Magic. Patrick Ewing picking up that last basket. Well, the big man Patrick Ewing, born in Jamaica, came to the United States at 11 years of age, six foot ten in junior high. And he was highly recruited going into college. Ended up playing four years at Georgetown for Hall of Famer John Thompson. And Shaq backs down. It's stolen by Smith. You can't get too loose with the ball down on the low post. Too easy to steal it. Well, Ewing right now is going well for. Well, he's a go-to guy, you know, he's among the all-time top 20 scorers. NBA history. And Patrick Ewing anchored the fearsome Hoya Paranoia defensive team at, at Georgetown and Naismith award winner, College Player of the Year. Yeah, great success at Georgetown. Final four, most outstanding player both his junior and senior seasons. He got them to three title games in his four years, winning a championship in 1984. Patrick Ewing, one of the great players in college basketball history. And now the first time out call here for the Magic. And we get a look here at Shaquille O'Neal back at the very start of his career. And, of course, he retired this offseason at the age of 39. But what a mark he's left on the game of basketball. One of the greatest centers in the history of the NBA and certainly one of the more enjoyable personalities we've seen in the league as well. Now here's Hardaway. Here's Scott. And Oakley with the rebound right there. And here we go. Here is Mason, into Patrick Ewing. And there's the three second violations. New York on D. And here is Hardaway. Anderson against Starks. With the shot, good from 11 feet out. Anderson's got his first two points. Well, Clark, getting back to Shaq, you know, his retirement is, is kind of bittersweet. I mean, he, he would have liked to have stayed healthy and maybe given it one more go for a championship run with Boston. They were awfully close a year ago, but I think he knew when it was time. He was injured and just didn't quite have it anymore. And I'm guessing we haven't seen the last of him. We'll probably see a lot of him on TV the next few years. That's the name of Harper's game, guys, defense. I mean, when he finally retired, he was 11th all-time in steals. That's good defense. Don't let a guy get a lay-in, foul hard, and send him to the free throw line. Yeah, I like that billboard there. Send him a message. You can't come in here and get anything free in our paint. And the Magic making a change here. Shaw's checked in. Well, one indicator of the kind of player Derek Harper was, 
his durability and longevity. He's lasted 16 seasons in the NBA, and he played all 82 games six different times. Files this for high praise. Michael Jordan once said of Patrick Ewing, he has a heart of a champion. And when you thought about New York, you thought of Patrick Ewing. Anthony's checked in for New York. Anderson's checked in for the Magic. Anderson's shot is off. Now the Knicks with it. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Backing down is Ewing. From 11 feet away, Ewing buries the jump line. There's Ewing's jump shot. Boy, he was one of the best shooting centers in the history of the league. And in the NBA, he really blossomed into a much better offensive player than he was in college. Uh, he was such a dynamic defensive player at Georgetown, but eventually uh, he became an excellent offensive player for the Knicks. Bonner, he's checked in for New York. Davis comes in for John Starks. One forty-one left here in the opening quarter. It's stolen. This has been a nightmare start for them from the get-go. Sure has, Clark. I mean, we're not even halfway through the first quarter, and there are already up four turnovers. Not exactly how they wanted to start this game. It's been really impressive at both ends of the floor so far early on. Yeah, and it's for that reason that they've been able to jump out ahead early here. You know, Patrick Ewing in college, he chose to stay all four years at Georgetown and wanted to do it for his dearly departed mother by the time he entered the 80. He was a no-brainer first pick. A media phenomenon and a heck of a player. Shaw passes to Scott. Over Mason. A strong defensive rebound by Ewing. New York with the ball. They're on a 20 to 4 run. Jacks up a three, and the shot is good. Davis has got himself on the board with three there. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, going back to Ewing in that 1985 draft, remember, everybody wanted him, and that was the first year of the new lottery system. The New York fans were ecstatic when their team won the lottery. They picked Ewing. Although they didn't win any championships, he really revitalized that franchise. He feeds it to Ewing, stolen by Anderson. And you know what? You don't normally see a lot of miscues from Greg Anthony, a low mistake player. He set guys up and avoided turnovers. See how he used the rim to protect the ball perfectly from the defender on that reverse. One shot, a terrific offensive performance by Ewing. Impressive offensive execution to this point. That's what's gotten in this league. Well, it's paid off on the scoreboard, the fact that they've been together and productive offensively. You know, that's a case there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot, and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. Smart. Use that big height advantage. Get the shot off. Well, it's hard to put a big man on his feet that far from the roof. I mean, he's versatile. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Mix up front, up 19. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. Well, you look at the accolades for Patrick Ewing, and just to name a few right here, I mean, former Rookie of the Year, an 11-time All-Star, also named one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. Fabulous career. Williams is out there with Bonner. Then there's Hubert Davis, then it's Anthony Mason, and it's Anthony in at the point guard. They're the group New York will start the second half. It's stolen by Anthony. Here's Davis. Oh! Well, he took that one to the left with some perk. I'll say beautiful dunk there, Steve. Yeah, how about the agility? Yeah, just... The power and the skill, impressive. Here's Hardaway. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. And stolen by Williams. So now that's twice we've seen the offense collapse. That's back-to-back -back empty trips because of turnover. 
Yeah, and that's going to be a problem because now all of a sudden you start turning the ball over and you lose all offensive rhythm and flow. Hard away against Anthony. To stop the run, here's Turner. Williams pulls it in. They are enjoying, Steve, a commanding lead. Well, and it gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest, which is so critical during this grueling NBA season. Here's Anthony, and the Knicks hit again from deep. And at point guard, Greg Anthony grew up in Las Vegas, a member of the championship UNLV team in 1990. Got it done right at home. And what a huge win that was over Duke, the first and only team to score over 100 points in the title game. They were really exciting to watch. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Grant comes in for Turner. Alexander's in for Shaw. Anthony. Against Hardaway. Now Anthony defending. Once again off the mark, Orlando. And they needed that hoop to try to stop this run. They just seem to keep coming up empty. And got to slow it down and get a good shot. And you know, guys, you talk about Eddie Hardaway. Think about him in his prime. 20 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. And this is a guy who was an absolute superstar. Unfortunately, as you know, his career was cut short by injury. Yeah, he was a very complete combo guard, Steve. Special, special talent. Um, he also averaged two steals a game and shot 50% from the floor, so he could do it all. And he did it with flair and with um, consistency until the injuries cropped up. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. You know, you think about John Starks, his story is really a fascinating one. He's a blue-collar type player. Um, he actually spent a few years bagging groceries prior to college. Uh, he kind of fit right into that Knicks hard hat Hard work mentality. Here is Anderson. Feeds to O'Neal. Davis is there. Shaq will not. Be denied. And he's got a free throw on the way. I like the way they got the ball inside there. And he makes the free throw. Now the Knicks with it. They're on an 11-3 run right now. You know, he got a fingertip on it, but not enough to control the pass coming in that fast. And John Starks rise to NBA greatness. Really an underdog story. Well, he was hardworking. Uh, he kind of did whatever it took to win. He worked his way up through... Uh, the minor leagues and eventually became a star for the next sixth man of the year in 1997. Poked away, stolen by Mason. With the lead pass, powers down the dunk. Tell you what, what, they just cannot miss out there. And the defense looks shell shocked. I mean, they've been powerless to slow them down. No effect at all. Here is Anderson. He has six. Outside Hardaway. Outside Hardaway. Leaps for it. Grant kicks to Anderson. Off target from outside. And Anthony Mason out of Tennessee State University. He played abroad for a few years before catching on with the Knicks in 91. He managed a, a solid 13-year career. In fact, sixth man of the year in 1995. He was all defense, second team in 97. He even made an all-star appearance in uh, two. Oh! Look at that, John Starks elevating at 6'5", 190 pounds. He was an unbelievable dunker. 
Starks is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul. The Knicks making a switch here. Ewing's checked in. Orlando also making some changes. Scotty's checked in for Royal. And it's Bowie in for Anderson. One thirty-three left now here in the second. Bowie the best to Grant. Hardaway against Davis. Hardaway dishes to Scott. Looking to end the run. And Byer pulls it down. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a, a really nice job of extending their lead, Kevin. You know, Patrick Ewing actually played the final season of his illustrious NBA career as a member of the Orlando Magic and now is working for the Magic as an assistant coach. Here's Scott. Finds the open look, and it's on target. Scott's got his first points of the game. Backing down is Ewing. Fade away. Ewing's jump shot finds the target. Ewing so smooth around the basket. His touch inside was fantastic. Screen by Grant. Hard away against Starks. From outside the arc, a beautiful pass. Penny to set it up. Now, they're not worried enough about About him. They've got to tighten up their defense. And here are the Knicks. Backing down is Ewing. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Ewing's got four points this quarter. You mentioned Ewing as an assistant coach at the Magic Mentor is the next great Magic big man, Dwight Howard. They work well together, though Ewing says Howard is much easier going than he was as a player. Now, two totally different personalities. I mean, Ewing was so serious and so competitive. And Dwight Howard, while he's competitive and he wants to win, uh, seems to have a lot more fun than Patrick Ewing ever did. Mason is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. That's good from Scott, so it's both teams making substitutions here. No good on the second free throw. Now here's Ewing. He's got 25. Outside for Davis. Shoots a fader. He trained the shot right at the buzzer. Oh, bloody. That's a big time clutch bucket. That is a prime time play, guys. He got himself squared up and knocked down the shot, no problem. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Well, Patrick Ewing in this one, 25 points and one steal. What an opening half that was for him. Well, it's gonna be tough to duplicate, but uh, he's gonna try. It's the Knicks running away with it. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. You know, Patrick Ewing may never have won a title, guys, but everybody knows he's a winner. I mean, the Knicks only missed the playoffs twice in the 15 years he played there. And here now the match. So on the floor for Orlando. They've got Royal. Hardaway is out there with Anderson. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Grant in at the power forward position. And, you know, talking about Patrick Ewing, guys, he came close a couple of times to winning that elusive championship. Lost by four points in Game 7 against Houston on the road in the 94 Finals. And then in 99, remember the Knicks were the eighth seed and the first eighth seed ever to make the Finals. But Ewing got injured just prior to the series and unfortunately was not able to, to play a role in that series against San Antonio. Here's Hardaway. Looking for his first bucket of the game. And the dunk by Grant. Tell you what, they were in full attack mode there on that fast break. I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they got right after it. Tries to save it. Shaq takes it away. 
You look at the turnover situation, guys, and it's not been that bad. Just a handful, and when you take care of the ball like that, that can help you build a lead. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. Town Hall here. The Magic decide to talk it over. I tell you what, a lot of viewers might only remember Shaq from his post-Laker days, but they should know Shaq was every bit of physical anomaly as Dwight Howard was when he was younger. I mean, big, strong, extremely athletic and mobile. I mean, he was a uh, tour de force. Anthony against Hardaway. Here's Anderson. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Back to Shank, you're talking about him. Clark, you, you look at the footage of a young Shaquille O'Neal and the way he could run the floor is really beyond work. It was awe-inspiring watching Shaq in the early part of his career, guys. I mean, just the, for the size and the strength and the speed for a player, uh, his size, just, just incredible. Hardaway against Anthony. Hardaway kicks to Shaq. Penny and Shaq connect. They can't seem to stop anybody inside. They got to know that if they don't make life tougher in the paint, the opponent is just going to keep going there. I mean, it's not like they'll get tired of all these in-close opportunities. A nice shot by Ewing. You look at the physicality of the game in the 90s and talk about it, it was a different era. I mean, if opponent fell down and the Knicks players helped him up, he got fined from the team. That's tough. First Here's Hardaway. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Pass to Shaq. He's against Ewing. O'Neal. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump fake. And you know, Clark, I, I think this Knicks team grew to relish that physicality and that personality they had as a team. In fact, Greg Anthony said the team motto was, we're going to win something tonight. We're either going to win the game or the fight. And I believe it. it up for the stuff you know penny can set people up or finish it himself as evidence right there fellas penny hardaway was so great early on in his career but we don't hear enough about him now because in part he, he fell victim to injuries in the latter half of his career hammers at home and offensive execution has been the story here just playing beautiful basketball and guys you can see it in their advantage in field goal percentage i mean you get high quality shots you're usually going to shoot well they're playing outstanding basketball Hardaway passes to O'Neal. He kicks it to Anderson. For the three, Anderson buries it from deep. I'll tell you what, he'll be quite contented to sit out there beyond the arc and knock down shot after shot if they're going to play defense like that. Tighten it up out there. You're talking about Penny Hardaway and those injuries you mentioned, Steve. You know, they, they took their toe on Penny, and he just didn't have the same, you know, Clark, the same explosiveness that he came into the league with. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? I think had he been able to stay clear of the injuries and stay healthy, he would have been one of the all-time greats. I mean, he did an awful lot in the short time that he was healthy in the NBA. You could see it, but he just didn't have the longevity due to the injuries. And Jack backs down. Here's Hardaway, and there are the Magic with another bucket. He knows how to get to the basket, guys, especially when the defense is soft like it was there. Christie kicks to Ewing. Launches a three, and again, New York with the triple. He's been so valuable for this team with plays like that one. Now the pass to Grant. Lots of room. It's rebounded by New York. Christie's got three rebounds so far in the game. It's tipped. Stolen by O'Neal. And here now the Magic. Outside Hardaway. Back to Shaq. Davis is on. 
The jump hook, and it's Shaq missing. They have been really controlling this one. Well, now's not the time to get complacent, though, Kevin. You've got to continue to put your foot on the gas pedal. And in 1991, the Knicks drafted Greg Anthony 12th, and he enjoyed an 11-year career as a guard. Well, he played his first four seasons with the Knicks and then taken first overall by the Grizzlies in the 1995 expansion draft. Boy, I love the way they've been attacking inside, Kevin. Guys, they're getting a lot of points in the painted area, not settling for outside shots, and I don't see any reason to change strategy here. Ewing, good! They have no answer for him. He's just putting on a dominant display of offense. Hardaway with it. Seven points in the game. He dishes it to Anderson. Tipped away. Great job defensively getting out and forcing that turnover. A true power dunk, Kev. I thought he might squeeze the air out of the ball on that one. Well, when he gets it near the basket, you know where he's headed. And he's going fast and with force. <laughs> The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. You look at Patrick Ewing in this game so far, he has been everywhere. Seems like every time he's gotten the ball down on the block, guys, he's had his defender at his mercy. And he's eating this team alive. Yeah, he really is. The big man is doing major eating down there in the paint. I like the way he's mixed up his approach, too. He's kept the... Patrick Ewing was this. I mean, despite the media frenzy when he came into the league, he was a relatively private and quiet guy when it came to talking to fans in the press. Yeah, I would say, Clark, he was more in the Bill Russell, Tim Duncan mold. You know, somebody who shied away from the public eye, uh, really wanted his privacy, and absolutely loved the game and was focused on getting better. And he didn't really care about any of that other stuff. Williams is out there with Anthony Mason. Then there's Christie, then there's Hubert Davis, and it's Anthony in at the point. That's the five for New York right now. Now the only way to stop... to keep him from getting the ball in the first place. And here we go with Penny Hardaway. Here's Turner, and he uses the glass on the layup. Here's New York. Christie kicks to Mason. And again, it's New York. That was just a perfect feed there. Here's Hardaway. It's stolen by Anthony. With all these turnovers really hurting his team. He continues to give the ball away. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Guys, untidy. You've got to value the possession of the basketball. I know you agree with that, Steve. Oh, totally. You've got to play with control and composure, Kevin. And here is Hardaway. Initially, the Magic were going to draft Chris Webber to pair with Shaquille O'Neal, but Penny Hardaway proved to be the better fit with his playmaking ability. Now they're finally making some inroads here by knocking down shots from the perimeter. You know, and on defense, you start to get a little nervous now when shot making is going as well as it has for them. I mean, it's like a stampede, an avalanche. And you definitely not only hear them coming, you feel them. You know, Clark, thinking about that draft, Penny was taken third by the Golden State Warriors, then traded for Weber on draft day. Steve, how different, you think, would uh, both of those teams have looked had that not happened? Well, can you imagine Chris Webber and Shaq playing together? That would have been one of the most physically imposing... Oh! Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That <laughs> is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. Here is Shaq. Covered by Starks. Here's Grant. It's rebounded by New York. Well, not a bad effort there. 
He'll usually knock that one down. Fires from deep. A shot by Starks, no good. And you see Horace Grant with those goggles? I mean, he started wearing those in the 90-91 season to help his vision on those mid-range jump shots. I'd say they work pretty good. He Make sure to get a little extra hang time there, just to rub it in the defender's face a bit. Look out below! I wasn't sure he was ever going to come down. <laughs> he just wanted to make sure he wasn't coming down on top of anybody. Drops in the tray. Grant's vision really was especially bad in one eye. The coach has said he, he didn't really have 3D vision from distance. Once he started wearing the goggles, he said he, he, said he felt like a whole new world was opening up to him. Well, so many players over the years have worn goggles, and usually it's to protect an eye injury because most players, guys, do not want uh, that nagging feeling of, of having something covering your eyes while you're trying to shoot. But, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Patrick Ewing's checked in for Anthony Mason. Now the Knicks with it. Backing down is Ewing. Takes it right up. Drops in the layup for two. Ewing's got 41. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's had. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Easy to see why he called this timeout. They've been allowing way too many shots around the back. And that can't continue. Shanks checked in for Orlando. Hardaway comes in for Sean. Here's Hardaway. And Jack backs down. Puts it up. And the powerful one-handed Well, not much of a job there protecting the rim. I mean, poor. Well, he just pretty much opened the door for him. Yeah, yeah, he didn't waste the opportunity, did he? And here we go with Derek Harper. Derek Harper broke into the league, guys, with the Dallas Mavericks as the 11th pick of the 1983 draft. And he was one of the faces of that young franchise in his 10 seasons there. And when he came over to the Knicks in a trade in the middle of the 93-94 season. He had some major responsibility for replacing Doc Rivers, and he gave the Knicks just what they needed. Terrific defense at that point guard spot. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Penny just racking up the assist here. Outside Williams. Backing down as you goes up. Too risky there on that pass. Fires the three. The rebound by Anderson. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. Yeah, defensively, some really good pressure being the line. I was just going to get credit there. It seems like they've been rattled a little bit. Yeah, they have been rattled. Oh, they're rattled. All right. The turnovers are good. Especially when the team won't press it. The first turnovers will get out in transition. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. There's 
38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's Noah Nyschmidt trying to thread the needle there, and it wasn't there. Fake is in shoot. Good position. Another good move here, and now they are the host of the Big Ten right now. That's it loose. Here's Shaq. Yeah. Steve Avery will complete these goals. I don't think they're doing it. Continue to be 